Um, they're not a team. They're sorry. They look quite pathetic. They can't defend Max. As I said on SportsCenter just a few months ago, Max has, has, has blessed us with this information about himself and how he has struggled with bad back issues periodically. Flip Max this. could look like he could Max could look like he could go out there and average 20 against the Cleveland Cavaliers. I mean, if you look at the un, the number of uncontested shots that are available because these guys don't know uh, how to rotate, how to man up or whatever. It's it's an embarrassing situation. We'll get into what Dwayne Wade articulated about this very team a little bit later on the show. Uh, but the reality is, is that uh, they look like they're not going anywhere fast. I am of the mindset that they know they won't win a championship. They know that they probably, if they went up against Kyrie and Boston, they might lose. It wouldn't surprise me at all if the Cleveland Cavaliers got bounced in the second round by Toronto or somebody just for the sole express purpose of not having to lose to either another NBA Finals on the part of LeBron James or losing uh, to a Kyrie Irving because we all know how pathetic that, you know, how, 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 how much of an Armageddon kind of atmosphere that would be. No question about it. But here's what it also comes down to. LeBron James is talking about he's not going to waive his no, no trade clause and all of that stuff. Max, I talked about that yesterday. And I specifically said it's not something that he would ever do. I, I knew that would be his answer. But what I did was say Dan Gilbert needed to make it public that that was something that he wanted LeBron James to do and use Cleveland's future as an excuse that it would be in the best interest of the franchise and the best interest of the city. Because we all know whenever LeBron Le James leaves, the economy is going to go into the tank, just like it did when he left back in 2010. You could apply some pressure to him. It won't work, but you can certainly try to make yourself look good and not make him look as good as he's going to look by saying the right things and dictating headlines and things of that nature. But in the end, LeBron James may end up being the one having a point because this team is just not good enough. Uh, they look pathetic as a team. They're a collection of individuals. There's no chemistry whatsoever. And then on top of it all, the most glaring thing is their lack of effort. I think LeBron James is gone at the end of this season. I think Tyron Lue is gone at the end of this season. I think everything is going to change in Cleveland. That's how bad it has looked.